Hey, Ty here. So welcome to the VR Tech channels. This week has been completely bunker when it comes to VR, like this incredible lifelike through the lenses video, the approaching release of the big Oculus Quest 2 competitor, and talking about Oculus also a discount on the store, the Deca Move going completely free for everyone, and also monkey playing Pong with its brain? Well, let's get into it. Oh, about free stuff, we are on the road at 100k, and uh, to celebrate it, I decided to do a crazy thing I'll give away one of Cool's Quest 2 each month till the end of the year. Since we reached that mark, that was my phone falling. It's fine. So, the sooner we get there, the better. More stuff. And well, are we get there? Well, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, well, enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So, I was planning on my face tracker review uh, today, but uh, yeah, too many stuff and exciting stuff came out. So uh, I was like, okay, uh, let's cover those things uh, that were absolutely amazing. And then at the same time, I had my vaccine appointment today. So yeah, uh, I needed a bit more time. <laughs> Anyhow, let's start with the most exciting thing today. That is from Serial. That is not Serial. Well, we already talked about this company in the past because they presented their program and their prototypes uh, back at CES. Now, I'm just gonna run the True Lenses video that posted yesterday uh, while I'm talking because it's absolutely impressive and we should really enjoy uh, what we are seeing right now. How do they get to these results? How do they get to this resolution? And why do you see things out of focus over here? Well, to reach this retinal resolution where you don't actually see any pixel in there, they're using a particular technology. And this is the light field technology. This is really next generation stuff because it's solving pretty much every problem that we have with VR. You know, in VR, we have a screen in front of us and the focus is fixed in a particular distance. So everything you see is always in focus, everything. But our eyes don't work like that. Well, if you get closer to something, well, you have the object that you're gonna be in focus and you have the rest that is gonna be out of focus. And this is exactly what they're doing here in this working prototype where we have the light filled screen in the center and you can actually see it with a full VR resolution and an outside screen is just a 1440p screen to give a better FOV because the inner screen uh, being with this particular technology is just able to go till 30 degrees. The results are absolutely amazing because you have a very focal situation in the middle with also a super high resolution that is not really distinguishable with our eyes is exactly how we see uh, in reality. In fact, these through the lenses really look like pictures at the first sight. And again, your eyes react in a normal way. Also, it's just impressive what they're doing over here in this prototype because uh, we saw in another video, well, this uh, was actually what Oculus were working on just a year ago to have the same result. And this was the image quality that they got with this big table with so many lenses to have that result. Instead, Serial is making a portable headset just a year later and it's absolutely incredible. Just a little note about Serial, they're not planning to uh, go in production with their prototypes and something like that. Uh, they're more about like I sell you my technology and you can uh, use it in your headsets. So imagine like a, a Vario uh, going to light field technology in the next iteration instead of having uh, the micro LED displays in the middle or maybe Oculus and uh, use it in the next generation headsets and stuff like that. Well, that was something that would be possible uh, just getting the license for the screen and use it. And well, my dream is just to have in one year of the True Lenses video with this stuff. But well, let's keep going because I'm getting a little too excited about this thing and talking about headsets coming and not really coming. Well, we had the announcement of the Pico Neo 3. Now, I had the opportunity to actually have over here the Pico Neo 2 that uh, was kind of a Quest 2 competitor in the early days, but not really because it was more focused toward business and enterprise. And well, Pico China just unveiled the Pico Neo 3 that also resembled the look of the Oculus Quest 3. Now, remember that Oculus is not selling in China because it's kind of banned because of Facebook and stuff like that. So uh, this is kind of, uh, you know, they clone thing of it, but uh, really uh, thinking about the quality that we had the Pico Neo 2, uh, it's really interesting to see what they're doing over here. Now it seems like they moved from the magnetic tracking to a regular tracking with cameras, with the tra cameras in the same position of the cameras on the Oculus Quest 2, uh, of course, so there might be a hint, but we also have a still in front the little grill that was used to uh, pass through the magnetic tracking for the controllers. So uh, maybe it's a hybrid of both to have a better precision when they're inside and uh, when they're not inside, well, you can still 
use them without any problem. They will be very, very sweet. Also, the screen and the lenses on the Pico Neo 2 are still much better than what we have on the Oculus Quest 2. So yeah, I'm super excited for to see these. Unfortunately, I also got in touch with Pico here in the US and they told me that right now they have nothing to announce. In the West, Pico is more focused on um, business and enterprise again, so well, nothing to share. We're not gonna expect it in May. Uh, in May, they're gonna start in China and then, well, hopefully we're gonna see it also here in the West. So a great news because we're getting competitors, but not really great news because, well, we're not really getting competitors, but what we're getting is a 25% discount on the Oculus Quest store if you're interested to buy a game. Now, you can use it with the code MOBILE25 when you buy uh, through your Android or iOS app. That works, uh, it's been tested. We don't know how long it's gonna work for, but if you're interested to buy some game and you want a discount, well, a uh, little plug, you have the opportunity there. So it's pretty cool indeed. But even better, if you want free stuff, do you remember the Deca Move, uh, the little accessory we tested last week to have a hip-based locomotion that I personally consider the future and the way to go? Well, they announced that you're gonna be able to use their software, so the Deca Move software that I was using with a little uh, accessory that they're selling, also using just your phone as a, you know, uh, with a I'm a you inside, or using a Vive Tracker, and that is gonna be already from next week. So if you wanted to play uh, with hip tracking and try hip tracking around, well, they already have a solution. And it's just unbelievable and amazing because uh, this is really what I like to see uh, from a company that, yeah, uh, pushes uh, the limits and pushes their own accessory, but also uh, keep in mind that many people are not gonna be able to buy it. And because it's possible at the end of the day to use it also with a, you know, with a accelerometer and a magnetometer of a phone, uh, well, they're making it possible in their software. And I absolutely love it. These guys are making me more and more excited about the Deca gear. There are headsets coming uh, in the near future more and more uh, each week, each time, each second. So uh, yeah, I'm really like uh, rooting for them right now. <laughs> of course, they say that the ideal thing would be to use, of course, the accessory because uh, they have more control of it and uh, the software and stuff is smaller, so it doesn't move around that much. Uh, but you're gonna be able to use a Vive Tracker, that's good, or you're gonna be able to also use your phone, put it in your pocket, maybe if you have some tight jeans, uh, it's better, so it stays in place, and uh, just play. Again, we wanted to mention it because it's super cool what they're doing, and they're gonna start from next week, so uh, if you wanna join their Discord, well, you can stay in touch with them. Last thing that is not really VR, but is uh, on the bleeding edge of technology, uh, is from Neuralink. Uh, Neuralink, if you don't know, is an implant for your brain to uh, kind of a chip in your brain to connect it to your PC and uh, having an interaction and stuff like that without using PC and stuff. And they're testing on animals right now. Uh, we saw testing on pigs and uh, right now we, they tested it on a monkey and the monkey was actually able to play Pong while eating, uh, well, just using some brain. And that's absolutely incredible and uh, crazy scary, uh, but yeah, it works. We saw already in the channel brain interfaces and they work absolutely well. Uh, this is really next level. I, I don't think I am the person that wants to drill a hole in my brain uh, to have it, but uh, yeah, if you have one of those, well, um, no, you now know that maybe you're gonna have a locomotion in the future just thinking about it instead of actually following your hip direction with the thumbstick or I don't know, maybe using something that doesn't get directly in your brain. But well, yeah, interesting stuff. We know that VR is really going on brain interaction and this might be part of it in the future. Uh, but yeah, that's up to you if you want a surgery from a robot or not. But anyway, guys, that was all. Are you ready to drill your brain uh, for the neural link and play Pong like a monkey? Or <laughs> are you excited for the cereal as much, not cereal, as much as I am? Uh, that thing looks absolutely incredible. Let me know in the comment below and I can also wait for all of you to play with the hip tracking with the Deca Move because yeah, it's gonna be eye-opening. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna run and get the vaccine. And as always guys, if you like the video, like. If you did like the video, please like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR Tech. And if you really love the channel, the join button down there. Little no further, also the Patreon with prior access to videos. And at the same time, we have a t-shirt, sticker mask 2021 item number one. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Focus, 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 focus.